our American Spirit, Federal Credit Union, Symphony Potato Chips, Fred Drake Automotive, B2L29 Premium Alkaline Water, and America's Mortgage Coach, John Millett. Now, for Delaware State, they're looking for their second win in the season against 12 losses. The only game they won was against Lancaster Bible College, that Division III school out of the Coast to Coast Conference. And that was a close one for them. Oh, they no had doubt. to fight at the end to win that game. So they know that they can't take this team lightly coming in today. Well, I think they did take Lancaster Bible College uh, lightly, but I'm sure that was a lesson to be learned. And I'm expecting them today to come out with a great deal of energy and just to be able to just, you know, set the tone very early. Because when you allow teams to come in and that you particularly don't necessarily think they're on your level because they play at a different division, you tend to kind of let up a little bit, but I think a lesson being learned from the last time, I'm expecting the Hornets to come out and really put their foot down on them early and, you know, and create some separation and just really do a nice job. But more importantly, you want to make sure that you get your legs here. You know, you go a week and you don't play games, trying to maintain some rhythm and some chemistry. So um, let's see how it goes. But I believe, I believe that they're really ready to play because they haven't played in a, in, in a little over a week. Well, actually, they haven't played a game since the 6th of February when they were at Morgan State, lost that one. 74-69, to 69. they were supposed to play the next day. The weather canceled that game. Opening tip out of bounds off of Delaware State University. It'll be St. Mary's ball. Then they were supposed to have a two-game set against Howard last weekend. That got canceled out when Howard finally said their men were not going to play basketball this season. The games yesterday and today against Morgan State here, they got postponed as well. So We'll see what happens along the way here for the rest of the season, but St. Mary's with the ball right now as they work it around to the right side now, back out into the middle. It's Almighty Lewis with the ball. They work inside now, into the paint, turnaround jumper by Albert Scott is good. It's a nice little step back floater there for Albert Scott. And St. Mary's goes up two to nothing as they worked it around nicely. Very patient taking it into the paint to get the two. For Delaware State, it's John Stansberry. Over to Pinky Wiley, shooting for three from the left side, missing off the rim. Comes out high, out to Micah Henry for St. Mary's. He stumbles, got the ball back, and it's stolen by Wiley for Delaware State. Fast break, two on one. The layup is good for John Stansberry. It's a great job. Pinky Wallet picks up the steal and dumps it off to John Stansberry. We're tied at two, and we are just uh, a minute and 15 seconds into the game. It's Gary Grant with the ball for St. Mary's, working around right side of the lane, takes it around the right side, pulls up, brings it back outside, hands it off there to Micah Henry. Henry, left side of the lane, can't find an opening, tries to get around along the baseline. Ball deflected from behind by Miles Carter. Hornets with it. Stansberry right side. Wiley tries to feed inside through the hands of Zach Kent and out of bounds. Definitely a good thought early on to give Kent an opportunity to touch it early and get him going. Unfortunately, it was a little hot. <laughs> a little steam on that pass. He couldn't quite catch it. <laughs> it had some zip to it, didn't it? So that's good, though. Look cool here in the building. Everybody's trying to get their hands warmed up and find some flow and rhythm here. St. Mary's now comes back with the ball. It's Lewis. Giving it off to Albert Scott. They work around back to Lewis. He works to the left side. Over to the right side to Gary Grant. Grant being guarded by Zach Kent. Now they go to the left side again to Lewis. Lewis drives inside, passes down low, and through the feet of Gary Grant and out of bounds. Couldn't handle the low pass. Hey, two turnovers on both ends here. Early on a little stop sloppy, but nonetheless, I'm sure pretty soon here both teams are selling Subtle in. Now Wiley, past center court with the ball for Delaware State, over on the right side to Stansberry. Stansberry works around to the middle, passes inside to Kent. Kent in the lane, gets fouled. That'll be called on Darren Alexander, the first foul of the game, coming with 17.50 left in the first half. So they'll set the shot clock back at 20 seconds for Delaware State, and Pinky Wiley will send it inbounds. Wiley, long pass in. Stansberry for three. He yep. hit it. That's big time there. Stansberry showing his, his range and distance there, making a three-pointer early on. Haven't seen much of that this year out of him. Looks good. 
Haven't seen a lot of Stansberry this year, so it's good to see him getting into his form here late in the season. Well, his fifth game thus far. Henry, right side of the lane, works in the paint, now passes off, baseline underneath, and his uh, the shot by Gary Grant. Gary Grant, it got blocked as he went up with it, came down to St. Mary's, they lost it out of bounds, turn it over to Delaware State. Now the Hornets come down, Stansberry on the left side, gives it off to Wiley. Wiley looks inside, works top of the key to Kent, right side. He'll hand it off to Miles Carter. Carter steps inside the arc, takes a shot. It misses everything and goes out of bounds. Yeah, a little uncharacteristic of him, but it is his first shot, and everybody's blowing their hands, so I'm taking it as everybody's just trying to get warmed up and into the floor of the game here. A little cold early on. Now it's Lewis coming down court with the ball for St. Mary's, the Seahawks, out of the Coast to Coast Conference, Division Three. Gary Grant driving inside, sends it back out. Lewis wants three, drops it in. Illumide Lewis makes it a 5-5 game here. We have 16-37 left. Pinky Wallace is right back at you, buddy. Here we go. Three. Pinky got, Pinky got the three back for him, making it eight to five. Delaware State in front. Lewis now comes past Wiley, gets it off to Albert Scott, top of the key, left side to Grant. He'll give it back to Lewis, who crosses. He steps into the foul circle, passes it out to Grant. Grant now gives it off to Darren Alexander. His shot off the back of the rim comes out far to Gary Grant. He tries to work inside, and Zach Kent is just there to mess him up. No chance with Kent in there, using his full height of 6'10 to block out that uh, opponent. And a foul here by Olumide Lewis for St. Mary's. And it's going to send Miles Carter to the line for Delaware State. Carter on the season, 27 of 32 from the foul line. That's 84%. Not the guy you want to put there very often in the game. Yeah, he shoots a very good percentage. Makes the first, misses the second. Hornets up 9-5, 16 minutes left in the half. Now it's Darren Alexander on the left side, giving it off to Lewis for St. Mary's. Lewis, top of the key, passes left side to Alexander. Alexander drives inside in front of the foul line. Passes right side to Henry. St. Mary's just can't work inside on Delaware State. They kick it back out to Alexander. He gives it off. Albert Scott, turnaround jumper from just the right side of the lane. We have a jump ball. Simultaneous possession, and I think this goes to St. Mary's. And we'll have timeout here. Immediate timeout coming with 15-34 remaining in the first half. Delaware State leading 9 to 5, putting the U in HBCU. We're HSRN. The Good Brothers, proud alumni of Delaware State University and an even prouder sponsor of DSU Athletics. Follow them on Instagram at The Good Brothers LLC. Chef JJ and Chef Gamble are proud to bring you a unique meal each week with a variety of combinations and tastes from the Caribbean. It's a bite you won't regret. The Good Brothers, proud alumni of Delaware State University and an even prouder sponsor of DSU Athletics. Follow them on Instagram at The Good Brothers LLC. Chef JJ and Chef Gamble are proud to bring you a unique meal each week with a variety of combinations and tastes from the Caribbean. It's a bite you won't regret. taking over the point guard. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
John Stansberry returns us to action. He gets a pass, takes it inside, gets the short layup to make it an 11-5 game. Delaware State in front. St. Mary's back with the ball now. Albert Scott being guarded by Kent. Passes right side. Alexander way outside. Gives it off to Emmanuel Lewis near the center. Lewis trying to get around Stansberry. Stansberry cuts him off there. Baseline move. Can't get through. Now a shot from in front of the Hornets seating area. Missed by Micah Henry and Delaware State on the rebound. Cross court to Dominic Fregala. Over to Zach Kent looking for three from the big guy. It misses. Comes out and Olamide Lewis gets the rebound for St. Mary's. Maybe the fourth different way I have pronounced his name early in the game. <laughs> Fourteen and a half minutes left in the half. Loose ball picked up by Delaware State Shaft Clark. They've got it. Over to Fergala. Gets it back to Clark. They go inside to Kent. Turn around jumper off the glass. Sweet. That's a nice touch there by Kent. Very nice touch. Hornets make it. Somebody touching the basketball. Officials giving an official warning to the Hornets. Leave the ball alone. But that's a really nice play there off the glass by Kent. And um, Coach, um, Coach Skeet has made a, made a change here. He's moved Fagala to the point guard. Yep. So this is something different that we haven't seen in some of the previous games. In fact, all of the games up to this point because Fagala's played pretty much the shooting guard position. 13-5 now. Hornets up by eight. They'll send it to St. Mary's. Albert Scott gives it off to Gary Grant. They work it around left side to Henry. Henry comes back out toward the middle. They close that for him. Hornets just blocking out. They can't get inside. There's a shot taken. Missed. Comes out to Shaft Clark. Long pass down. Pinky for three. Hits off the rim. Won't go. Scott there for the rebound for St. Mary's. Seahawks on the attack here. Lewis right side trying to get around for Gala. That's not happening. Gives it off to Cameron Rucker. Rucker tries to take it past Zach Kent. That's not going to happen either. And as the pass goes to Lewis, he gets fouled by John Stansberry. Hornets are playing some really, really tight and sticky defense here early on and it's making it really difficult for St. Mary's to um, to kind of run their offense. They're running it but with a great great degree of difficulty because the Hornets are very aggressive in their man-to-man -man, uh, half-court defense. Hornets with some substitutions here as Wiley goes out. And uh, Omari Peak Green comes into the game for Delaware State. Now it's Lewis passing it left side to Henry. Henry brings it on back out. Tries to go around the right side of the foul circle. Steps into the lane. Left-handed jumper goes in. Wow, that's a nice little <laughs> kind little of sidestep, huh? I mean, uh, and he switched hands and shot it with his left. Little mid-range floater there. Amari Pete Green, top of the key for Delaware State. Looked at Fergala on the right side. Now passes it to him. He'll take a drive inside, just inside the arc, a jumper off the back of the rim. Comes out for Micah Henry to St. Mary's. Henry tries to go around John Stansberry, and Stansberry makes enough contact. They blow the whistle and call the foul. That's two on John Stansberry. Yeah. He has both of the team fouls here with 12.53 left in the half. Yeah, he's got to play much smarter than that, though. He's gotten off to a superb start, you know, hitting a three and kind of putting it on the deck, getting to the basket, getting the team a boost with quick early five points, um, but now he has to go to the bench. Ron Lucas comes into the game for Delaware State. Miles Carter back in the game as well for the Hornets. Now it's Henry, right side, guarded by Carter. Trying to get around Carter. Lost the ball in doing so. Fregala working with Carter. Carter, layup, glass, got it. Miles Carter with the good pass from Dominic Fregala to make it 15-7. to that's just what Miles Carter needed, a quick layup to kind of get himself going. Now Lewis passes to Albert Scott, top of the key. He tries to go across court to Gary Grant. It goes out of bounds. Give it to Delaware State. And we have another timeout here with 12-19 left in the first half. Hey, Hornet fans, please remember that our friends at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Dover on Route 10 near Dover Air Force Base are here to help you with your hotel needs at a discounted rate. Call them at 302-674-3800 or go online at the Delaware State University Hornets page to set up a reservation for a clean and comfortable night. 
Stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and YouTube for day-to-day updates on everything MEAC. Also use the hashtag RespectTheMEAC and hashtag MEAC Nation to see your post reposted. For more information, visit MEACSports.com. Get in on the basketball action all season long with sports pick from the Delaware State Lottery. Visit a Delaware Lottery sports retailer or casino sports book today to place your pro and college basketball wagers. Don't miss your chance to make every game a big game with sports pick from Delaware Lottery. Visit DELottery.com to find a sports pick location near you. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Must be 21 or older. To play through it. Playing on a different level, too. This is not Division Three basketball here. You like the sweet science of boxing? We have you covered with Rich Q and WBBS Boxing on HSRN every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Back to action here. Delaware State with the ball as they give it to Shaft Clark. He works inside. Jumper missing. Comes out and it's rebounded by Cameron Rucker for St. Mary's. And now the pass inside broken up but lost. Albert Scott got it back for St. Mary's. As he goes in for the shot, he gets fouled. Almost a takeaway there by Shaft Clark, but he couldn't control it. Yeah, he got his hand on it, but I think when he came down, it kind of lost his balance. Um, but nonetheless, um, St. Mary was able to get it back and made a move to the basket there and was able to get fouled. Ron Lucas called for the foul. Gary Grant goes to the line, shoots the first, and hits. Gary Grant for St. Mary's. Just uh, 21 of 31 from the foul line. That's uh, about 67, 68%. That's not bad over the first uh, four games of the season for his team. He's had a lot of time at the line. Huh. Well, I'll tell you, when you look at the Hornets, you know, Coach Skeeter's had some time to kind of think about some of the things that have happened up to this point, and he's made quite a few changes. You know, you can tell by Fagala playing the point and DeMarco Barkham, Barkham coming, off the, um, coming off the bench after being a starter. Grant misses the free throw. Comes out, rebounded by Lucas for Delaware State. 15-7 game. Should be 15-8. Didn't he make that first shot? Oh, uh, no, no, he missed it. No, he missed it. Okay. No, 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 he did make he it. Did he make did it. make it. Driving inside, Amari Pete Green slips as he tries to cut around. Yeah, they've just gotten the scoreboard adjusted now. Yeah, he made it first. 15-8. A foul as uh, Omari Pete Green got tripped up. He's safe. He slid like he was going into... Second base there. Cameron Rucker tripped him up. Hornets ball on the baseline underneath. They'll get the ball with 20 seconds put back on the shot clock. Long pass into Amari Pete Green. He sends it off left side to Miles Carter. Carter with some contact inside. DeMarco Balkum now sends it out to Pete Green. Short jumper and just a sweet shot. Had the right touch on it. 17 to 8 now. Hornets up by 9. It's a nice shot by Pete Green. Backdoor cut. Oh, yeah, and a good baseline move by Darren Alexander. Gets it on the run and puts it in. 17 to 10. Both teams in double figures now. 11.05 left in the first half. Ball going for three. Rolls around and won't go in. Comes out and into the hands of Cameron Rucker. Rucker works inside. Passes it off to Grant. Grant into the lane. Just a little layup. Almost a finger roll type. Yeah, no help defense there. 17-12. And a turnover by Delaware State. St. Mary's has a chance here to cut the deficit to five. And Dominic Fregala trying to steal a pass. Tipped it, tried to save it before it went out of bounds. Made contact with it while he was out of bounds. So St. Mary's will get the ball with 23 seconds on the shot clock for them. And now that starting unit back on the floor for Delaware State. Had a nine-point lead. It's down to five here. Inbound pass knocked away by Pinky Wiley. Seahawks will keep the ball. Two seconds came off the clock in that time. 21 seconds left on the shot clock. Elijah Crawford inbounding it into the backcourt to Lewis. Lewis will bring it across the center line, guarded by Wiley. And he's cut off there by Zach Kent. 
down in the right-hand corner. A shot for three yeah. by Elijah Crawford. Yeah. And it's a 17-15 game. Yeah, Crawford had a lot of space there. They got to make sure that they, they take advantage of that, man. They can't give him a wide open look like that. Pass inside to Kent. As he goes to take the pass, he gets fouled. Was that on Grant? Who's the foul on? Gary Grant. Hornets ball, baseline out of bounds. 14 fouls, first on Grant. Wiley looking to pass it in and does so, gets it in to Amari, to DeMarco Balkum. He works into the lane and takes the short jumper. That was good to see him. He passed up on the three and put it on the deck and get right in front of the rim to finish. DeMarco Balkum for two. Saw an opening to cut into the lane there. It's Lewis, left side, sends it over to the right side to Rucker. He wants three, and it's well off the mark. Way wide left. I'm practicing my football call here. Wide left. Yeah, they call that a <laughs> first-class air ball. <laughs> and it went out of bounds. <laughs> Hornets ball. 9.50 left in the first half. Wiley around traffic. Passes it off. Top of the key. Jumper. Just... Back-to-back -back air yeah. balls. Well, um, that one at least did touch the net, but it was the outside <laughs> of the net on the shot by Fahim Gennetto. Uh No, for me, uh, Amir Bennett. Amir Bennett? Yeah, uh, Amir okay. Bennett knocks the, <laughs> shoots the air ball from the top of the key. Yeah, you're right, a Bennett. Now it's Lewis sending it over to Rucker on the right side. He tries to drive past Kent up off the glass, won't go. Bennett on the rebound, feeds it out to Wiley, comes down the left side. Wiley looks. And passes it top of the key to Bennett. Bennett inside to Kent, hard off the glass, and a good move inside by Rucker to take away the rebound for St. Mary's. Drive all the way in and deflected on Rucker's shot. Zach Kent got a hand up there. Now the Hornets take it down. They have it taken away. Lewis works inside, passes it left side. Rucker for three. Oh, my goodness, for three. And guess what? It's a 19-18 game here. One-point Hornet lead with 8.57 remaining in the first half. Breaking the action here because we've got one shot clock that's just kind of dysfunctional. Blitzed out here on at us. At this point. Yeah. That, so three, that three made the shot clock start to blink. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to your car, trust, trust the duck. That's Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Just do it. Nike is the official footwear provider of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Want to give your child something they'll never outgrow? Make a contribution to a DE 529 savings plan today. For more information, visit treasurer.delaware.gov. Taste the uniqueness of our first-generation German bakery in Delhi, the new Bavarian bakery in Delhi in Dover. Authentic, original creations are made fresh from scratch every day. Enjoy one of our great pastries and signature cakes. Don't forget. Yep, 1918 game. Hornets had a nine point lead. It's a one point lead right now. DeMarco Balkum down on the left corner sends it out to Wiley. Cross court pass. Amari Pete Green up for three. Puts it over top of everything. And underneath, there is a foul committed by St. Mary's. I think it's going to be Gary Grant who gets called for it. And that's who it is. As is he was in there banging around with Zach Kent. I think that's his second, right? It is. First player to have two. For St. Mary's. Now Balkum goes out. Miles Carter comes back in. Wiley on the inbound. Well, St. Mary's playing zone that last possession, so Coach Skeeter decided to put another shooter. Gets it into Kent, left side the of the lane. Kent with his back to the basket and a Work. finish. Yep, had to drive into the paint, work around the defender, but makes it 21 18. Kent now with four points on the game for the Hornets. Here's Albert Scott, top of the key. Feeds it off to Crawford. Crawford gets it off to Lewis. Left corner, it's Alexander. Comes back out with it. Now gets it off to Lewis. Ten seconds on the shot clock. He tries to work around the right side. Gives it off to Crawford. Crawford forcing a shot past Kent. It comes up off the mark, off the rim. Miles Carter gets it. Carter will bring it down. Give it off to Wiley on the right side. Down in the corner to Omari Pete Green. They feed inside to Kent. Kent, turn around jumper right Kent. side of the lane, and Zach Kent now has six points on the game. I tell you, Kent is showing something he hasn't shown much of this year. A little mid post, posting up, turn around jump shots. Turn, uh, working for him so far in this game. 
23-18. Hornets back to a five-point lead as Callaway gets it to Alexander now. Down in the left corner, shot for three. Comes up well short ah. right into the hands of Elijah Crawford, who puts it up and in to make it 23-20. to Well, uh, you got an air ball there. Nobody's making a play at the ball there. Right into his hands. Bennett now for Delaware State. Drives forward, right side of the lane. Whistle. And a foul by St. Mary's. Or by Delaware State. No, I call State. it charge and foul. Got a charge and foul on, uh, I'm not sure. It looked like it was a foul on St. Mary's, but then again, I don't know, it's because we went into a timeout situation yeah, it's here. On, it looks like it's on Darian Callaway. Okay. So that's where we're going to go with it, and we'll take this break. As the Hornets lead with a timeout here, 23-20, to 20, 7-14. Sponsored by the Delaware State Lottery. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Hornet fans, be sure to stop at your local grottos for a great meal and a legendary taste. Grotto Pizza, a proud sponsor of DSU Athletics. With three different investment strategies, DE 529 Education Savings Plan makes it easy and achievable to save for your child's college career. Catch us on the go. ESPN is proud to be the official national broadcast partner of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. For more information on the ESPN family of networks, including ESPN+, Plus, call your local cable operator or satellite provider or log on to ESPN.com. Follow Hornets basketball and football this season on HSRN, the voice of HBCU sports. Download the HSRN app to listen anywhere. Visit the App Store or Google Play. Search Heritage Sports Radio. All-natural gourmet chips with no MSG or gluten. That Symphony Potato Chips. Order yours online today at symphonychips.com. We're back to action here at Memorial Hall. Gary Lang, Coach John Hill, with Delaware State leading St. Mary's. St. Mary's playing a 2-3. Kent for three. Off the rim. Won't go. And it comes out. Darian Callaway, who got that last foul, gets the rebound. And he brings it down for St. Mary's. Tried to pass it around. Get it past Miles Carter. Off of Carter's leg and out of bounds. Seahawks will keep the ball near the Delaware State uh, seating area, what we would normally call a bench, but there's no such thing. All the chairs spread out six feet apart for social distancing. Now 15 seconds on the shot clock for Elijah Crawford. Crawford over on the left side to Lewis. Lewis gets it off. Callaway missing the shot. And it's Bennett on the rebound for Delaware State. They bring it down quickly. Miles Carter, left side, wants three. Off the rim, not there. Loose ball comes Shackle. on out to Shaft Clark. The freshman, he misses right into the hands of Zach Kent. And the opportunity re rebound gets in for Zach Kent, 25-20. 6-15 left in the half. Crawford giving it off to Lewis. Lewis. Some yeah, that's a tough. That's there. a tough. My, yeah, Miles Carter kind of bumped him. Uh, he it pushed him over. Foul. <laughs> and Lewis, to keep from falling, reached down, put his hand on the floor, and when he did, his hand was in the backcourt. They got him for the violation. Yeah, it was a little contact there. I thought Miles Carter might have got away with one for sure. A uh, bit generous with the whistle, but nonetheless, again, you're playing on another team's court, so you just kind of got to play through it. And the St. Mary's coach making his feelings on that non-call known to the officials. Yeah, he may have a point, but nonetheless, he's going to lose that one every day. Every day, all day, he's going to lose that one. St. Mary's is playing 2-3 zone. Shaft Clark, the feed inside underneath Ronald Lucas. He gets battered around as he goes for the shot. It comes out Miles Carter. Carter, they work it back out and clear it. Carter now in front of the St. Mary's seating area. Thought about three, doesn't do it. Takes it inside to the lane, in and out. Ron Lucas on the rebound, in and out. Underneath, it's Miles Carter, and he gets fouled. They got him for a jump ball situation, a tie up there between Miles Carter and I think um, Grant, and they're yeah, going, yeah. 
And St. Mary's has the arrow. Yeah, I thought they were going to call the foul there, and it turned out to be they called the jump ball. So St. Mary's gets the benefit of that call. They call that in this business a makeup. <laughs> when I was learning how to umpire baseball, they taught you if you made one mistake, don't try to make it up later because then you've made two. <laughs> hey, it all depends on who, what lenses you're looking out of. 541 left in the half. Carter and Pinky Wiley working. Carter left side. He got it for the three. There we go. That's a good shot there. That get, that'll get St. Mary's out of that zone. Pushing the lead up to eight points now. 28-20. 525 left in the half. Hornets back to a good lead here. There's a jumper, top of the key. Darren Alexander missing. Loose ball comes out to Rucker. Rucker gets into Albert Scott. Scott along the baseline. Can't get the layup to go. Underneath, it's Crawford on the rebound. He puts it up and gets fouled. Just have a hard time rebounding the ball, man. I don't know. Sometimes the ball takes an awkward bounce. But the Hornets are giving up two and three you know, additional shots on every possession, which is not good. Because, it's, you know, you got an eight-point lead here, but there's the only way you're going to be able to really create some separation is you got to play great defense and secure the rebound. Elijah Crawford at the line. That's only his seventh foul shot of the season as he misses the first. Ronald Lucas got called for the foul. Carter, two of six from the charity stripe on the season. And he'll shoot a second one here. Freshman from Potomac, Maryland, gets the second shot to go. Seven-point lead here for the Hornets. They're bringing the ball across. 28-21. St. Mary's is still playing a 2-3 zone. A lot of open Frigal, shots. left side, one at three. Just off the back of the rim comes out to St. Mary's. Bringing it all the way down himself is Lewis. He goes for the layup. It doesn't go well off the mark, but it's because he got fouled. I tell you, you have to take your hat off to St. Mary's here, man. They don't appear to be intimidated, not even the least bit. Not a bit. <laughs> no. So, you know, um, that's always kind of dangerous, too, you know. Pinky Wiley committing the foul, putting well, mighty Lewis, the other fresh, a lot of freshmen on this team for St. Mary's. This uh, freshman from Greenbelt, Maryland. Yeah, at Eleanor Roosevelt High School. Team's nickname is the Raiders, and... I don't know. I, I seldom think of Raiders when I think of Eleanor Roosevelt. I tell you, Lewis may be the smallest on their team at 5'10". Uh, they have pretty good length. All of their guards are six feet, and they have some pretty good, nice size post players, six six, six seven, and seven feet. Lewis makes the um, they, the second free throw. Yeah, he missed the first, so it's 28-22. Six-point lead for the Hornets, 450 left in the first half. Wiley goes on to the right side to Shaft Clark. Clark sends it back out to Wiley as he had nowhere to go. Wiley now left side to Fergala. They feed it down inside to Bennett. Bennett takes it underneath. Uh, Shaft Clark tried a shot. It missed. Loose ball. Clark grabbed it from going out of bounds there. And he gets tied up. Can't get the shot off. It's knocked out of bounds by Albert Scott. Hornets will keep the ball. There's the ball a lot of bounds. going on inside there. Yeah, well, that's a good sign there for the Hornets. You know, you got two, three offensive rebounds. Just having a difficult converting after you get the offensive rebound, but um, they're battling, so you got to give them all the credit in the world. Hornets ball, um, baseline out of bounds. I think there's a question about the clock situation. One official conferring with a second one, and seems to be okay. Wiley to inbound it. Long pass into Shaft Clark. Clark takes it inside to Bennett. Bennett has to take it back outside for Gala. Now they go back inside. And inside out, out baby. For three. Boom! Pinky Wiley from the corner for three. Two field goals for him today, and they're both from outside. Hornets up by nine now, 31-22. 4.05 left in the half. Lewis, left side to Henry. Henry takes it around to the right side of the lane, now spins around, takes it into the foul circle, can't get around the defender. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Darren Alexander for three. Alexander, man, that's a big shot there because the Hornets are trying to create some distance. He steps up and make a three. Nice pass by Pinky Wallet to Amir Bennett for a deuce right underneath the basket. Right underneath and a perfect pass from Wiley. They've got that offense working on the passing underneath. Showing a little pressure here by the Hornets. 2-2 two, two 
2-2-1 full court press. 33-25. Lewis can't get around for Gala. It's a little soft. Passes it off to Crawford. Crawford takes it left side to Alexander. Alexander drives into the foul circle, takes a jumper, hits off the back of the rim, and there for the rebound, it's Amir Bennett. Bennett passes it off right side to Fergala. Down in the corner Three to Wiley. Three more from Pinky Wiley. Three oh. more from the corner, Pinky Wiley. 36-25, a double-digit lead for the first time here for Delaware State. And a timeout with three minutes left in the first half. We've got a break in the action here. Hornets lead 36-25. Pride your achievements. Jostin is a proud sponsor of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Hey, MEAC fans, take a hot route by getting a car insurance quote at GEICO.com. Find out how much you can save. GEICO 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. In business, hey, running fans, at please peak remember performance. our friends at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Dover on Route 10 near Dover Air Force Base are here to help you with your hotel needs at a discounted rate. Call them at 302 674 3800 or go online at the Delaware State University Hornets page to set up a reservation for a clean and comfortable night. This is key, so why not trust the experts at Penske Truck Leasing to keep your trucks running, your business moving, and customers smiling. We're dedicated to providing tailored solutions for all your transportation needs. Go to Penske.com to learn more today. MEAC fans, gear up for the season at Academy Sports and Outdoors. From jerseys and hats to grills and tents, Academy Sports and Outdoors has everything you need for game day. Visit any of the 259 stores across 15 states or shop online at academy.com. Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods and outdoor retailer of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Coach John Millett at 1-866-409-9000. We come back to action here. Just under three minutes left in the half. St. Mary's with the ball. Micah Henry being dogged by Dominic Fergala in the right side. Passes it off to Darren Alexander. They work it all the way to the left side to Lewis. Lewis back to Henry. Works inside. Shot taken by Albert Scott. Missing. Loose ball. Comes all the way out to Elijah Crawford. And now... Uh, we have a problem, and I don't think I think the problem is with the shot clock. Should go all the way back to a, a total reset. Shouldn't go to 20. He took a shot and missed it. Should be a total reset. The officials conferring over that to try to figure out what's going on. You never know who's going to show up on crunch time with Ben Bullock exclusively on HSRN every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern only on HSRN. Now they're explaining the situation. To exactly. It shouldn't have been a you know, Skeeters. total reset. 27 seconds on the shot clock. 2.35 left in the half. The inbound pass to Lewis. Lewis trying to find an open man to pass off to, and that's hard to do. It's Henry. He works up inside, puts it off the glass and in. 36-27. Wiley now from the left side for three. He has the range. He has the shot. He's feeling it. Maybe three for three here. Four for four. 39-27. Wiley with 12 points on the game. Here. And all from three-point range. That's a nice one off the glass for Darren Alexander. Yeah, they, um, Hornets is showing full court pressure in the 2-2-1. And St. Mary's is really... Um, um, Marco Barkham for three, just yep. off the mark. Yep, just a little, just a little bit to the right. Hit off the right side of the rim, bounced up and came out. They tied up Micah Henry. He almost lost it. Now they'll get Dominic Fergala. He was playing tight defense, but the contact by Fergala tried tried to take the charge, but he was moving. Yeah, they did, you know, the Hornets have been you know, outstanding defensively, very sticky and um, putting a lot of pressure on St. Mary's, basically trying to see if they can if they can handle the pressure. Um, St. Mary's responded pretty well, um, and, you know, it's been a good move by the Hornets. Hornets up by 10 here. Balkum goes out. Amari Pete Green comes in. Pass 
knocked out of bounds by Delaware State. Seahawks will keep it. They have 15 seconds on the shot clock. 133 left in the half. They get it inbounds to Albert Scott. Scott all the way across to Lewis. Lewis. Nice pass underneath it, Scott. And as he goes up for the shot, Miles Carter commits the foul. Tried to block the shot, but uh, he got Albert Scott. Yeah, it was just a, a tremendous effort for Miles Carter to even get there. He was guarding someone in the corner and basically rotated across to the middle of the lane to try to even make a play at that. So Albert Scott, the senior from Newburgh, Maryland, one of the few upperclassmen on this team. Played at La Plata High School. First shot goes in. 6'8", 225. He's a pretty nice sized young man. This uh, St. Mary's team, very young. A lot of freshmen on this squad and a few sophomores too. Scott making both shots. Making the best of, of every opportunity because with this put together season St. Mary's has, he doesn't know when he'll play his last collegiate game. For Gala for three, Missing. just off the mark. And it comes out, it'll be Micah Henry grabbing the loose ball to take it down. Fast break, has to pull up though, they close the door on him. Henry now, right side, batted away. And it's Wiley taking it down, feeding it off to Carter. Carter gets fouled. Elijah Crawford gets done to, for the foul. Stopping the clock with 1.02 left in the half and Miles Carter at the line for Delaware State. Carter leads the team in scoring coming into today with 182 points on the year. So what, 15 points a game? He, Carter makes the first free throw. He's been shooting right at, what, 84% on the season. He's been a really good free throw shooter. Um, the last time he went to the line, he split. And he got both this time to make it 41-31. And Carter now with Horn is still showing pressure here. 2-2-1. Two, 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 Full court press here. Lewis finally gets past the center court line. Being dogged by Carter. Carter working on Lewis. Lewis passes it right side to Alexander. Alexander into the foul circle. Right side of the lane. Jumper for Woo! two. I tell you, this kid here, man. He, uh, nice turnaround jumper. This kid, Alexander, man, he's, he, he's, he's a player. He shot size for Gala up and just shot right over the top of him. Pinky Wally again testing his feet. Off the front of the rim that time. It comes out to Lewis. Lewis with the ball. Feeds ahead to Alexander. Alexander, is that a missed dunk? Yes. <laughs> it was a missed dunk. And the Hornets will get it. Now Wiley, left side, 15 seconds in Amir, the half. Amir Bennett. And uh, Bennett tried to make a move along the base side, got cut off, the ball knocked out of bounds. Hornets will keep it. Now 13.4 seconds left in the first half. And uh, Coach Eric Skeeters wants a timeout here to see what the Hornets can do uh, with 13.4 seconds here to play in the half. And a 10-point lead, 41 to 31. Yeah, you see Alexander had a breakaway there for a, and a missed dunk. You know, that's one of the hardest things to teach young people these days. There's a difference between fancy basketball or cute basketball, should they say. And the Good Brothers, proud alumni of Delaware State University and an even prouder sponsor of DSU Athletics. Follow them on Instagram at The Good Brothers LLC. Chef JJ and Chef Gamble are proud to bring you a unique meal each week with a variety of combinations and tastes from the Caribbean. It's a bite you won't regret. Hey, Hornet fans, please remember that our friends at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Dover on Route 10 near Dover Air Force Base are here to help you with your hotel needs at a discounted rate. Call them at 302-674-3800 or go online at the Delaware State University Hornets page to set up a reservation for a clean and comfortable night. Really a big play because it was the difference of a six-point game, you know. Yeah. So now Hornets get an opportunity um, to extend it to a 10-point lead before the half. And the lucky thing for St. Mary's, uh, the player who tried the dunk, was that the students of Delaware State are not here to let him know that he missed the dunk. Inbound pass knocked out of bounds by St. Mary's. They can be brutal. Not only the missed dunk, <laughs> but all these air balls we've seen today. They can be brutal. <laughs> they would be chanting behind us here. 
Now down to 12.3 left in the half as the Hornets will have to inbound it again for Gala into Wiley. Wiley looks at the clock. Now stepping forward down to five seconds. Out to Wiley. Right side. Carter wants three, and it's off the back of the rim. Time runs out on the half. Hornets worked it around nicely, though, to get that last shot. I think they would have preferred to take it inside, though, but the Hornets lead by not eight. 41-33 as they go to the locker room. And we'll be back here at Memorial Hall at Delaware State University. We'll take this break. We'll come back at halftime and talk to you a little bit. Stay with us. The Good Brothers, proud alumni of Delaware State University and an even prouder sponsor of DSU Athletics. Follow them on Instagram at The Good Brothers LLC. Chef JJ and Chef Gamble are proud to bring you a unique meal each week with a variety of combinations and tastes from the Caribbean. It's a bite you won't regret. Hey, Hornet fans, please remember that our friends at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Dover on Route 10 near Dover Air Force Base are here to help you with your hotel needs at a discounted rate. Call them at 302-674-3800 or go online at the Delaware State University Hornets page to set up a reservation for a clean and comfortable night. Stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and YouTube for day-to-day -day updates on everything MEAC. Also use the hashtag RespectTheMEAC and hashtag MEACNation to see your post reposted. For more information, visit MEACSports.com. Get in on the basketball action all season long with sports pick from the Delaware State Lottery. Visit a Delaware Lottery sports retailer or casino sportsbook today to place your pro and college basketball wagers. Don't miss your chance to make every game a big game with Sports Pick from Delaware Lottery. Visit DELottery.com to find a Sports Pick location near you. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Must be 21 or older. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Just do it. Nike is the official footwear provider of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Want to give your child something they'll never outgrow? Make a contribution to a DE 529 savings plan today. For more information, visit treasurer.delaware.gov. Taste the uniqueness of our first-generation German bakery in Delhi, the new Bavarian bakery in Delhi in Dover. Authentic, original creations are made fresh from scratch every day. Enjoy one of our great pastries and signature cakes. Don't forget to bring home our house-made breads, Bavarian rye, sourdough, and fresh sandwich rolls. At our deli, choose from 14 different breads. You deserve only the best. The new Bavarian Bakery in Delhi in Dover. Sponsored by the Delaware State Lottery. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? 
Hornet fans, be sure to stop at your local Grotto's for a great meal and a legendary taste. Grotto Pizza, a proud sponsor of DSU Athletics. With three different investment strategies, DE 529 Education Savings Plan makes it easy and achievable to save for your child's college career. Catch us on the go. ESPN is proud to be the official national broadcast partner of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. For more information on the ESPN family of networks, including ESPN+, Plus, call your local cable operator or satellite provider or log on to ESPN.com. Follow Hornets basketball and football this season on HSRN, the voice of HBCU sports. Download the HSRN app to listen anywhere. Visit the App Store or Google Play. Search Heritage Sports Radio. Pride your achievements. Jostin is a proud sponsor of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Hey, MEAC fans, take a hot route by getting a car insurance quote at Geico.com. Find out how much you can save. Geico 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. In business, running at peak performance is key. So why not trust the experts at Penske Truck Leasing to keep your trucks running, your business moving, and customers smiling? We're dedicated to providing tailored solutions for all your transportation needs. Go to Penske.com to learn more today. MEAC fans, gear up for the season at Academy Sports and Outdoors. From jerseys and hats to grills and tents, Academy Sports and Outdoors has everything you need for game day. Visit any of the 259 stores across 15 states or shop online at academy.com. Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods and outdoor retailer of the Mideastern Athletic Conference.
Um, Norfolk State has played everybody. They don't have any games left other than that remain the game with Dell State. Second half begins here at Delaware State with the Hornets with the ball. It'll be uh, Miles Carter sending it over to Pinky Wiley on the left side. Wiley works into the lane. One-handed layup around traffic and puts it off the glass. 14 points for Pinky Wiley here in this game. 43-33 starting off the second half in fine form. It's Lewis giving it off to Micah Henry. Henry driving into the lane. Lost the handle on the ball. It got up high in the air. Zach Kent tried to get a hold of it. Henry uh, hit it at the same time. They're going to say it's off of St. Mary's and out of bounds and a turnover to start the second half for the Seahawks. Now Pinky Wiley gives it to Miles Carter. Carter back over on the right side to Wiley. Wiley steps inside the arc. Jumper got two. Yeah, Pinky Wiley starting off right where he left off that the first half. Coming up with the first four points of the second half here. That's a good sign. He was shooting hot in that first half as he was four of seven from the field. And all four of those that he hit were from outside the arc. St. Mary's trying to get the ball inside. Still having trouble with that Hornets defense. They've got him blocked out. Grant right side over to Alexander. Alexander gives it off to Lewis. Lewis into the paint with one second left on the shot clock. Missed the shot. And we have a foul as Albert Scott will get called for it here, trying to get the loose ball. That'll be his first and the first team foul here in the second half. Wiley will bring it down slowly for Delaware State, right into the middle, top of the key. Look, right side. Yeah, St. Mary's is still sticking with the 2-3 zone here. Stansberry working from the right side with Wiley. Stansberry in the corner, back out to Wiley. Wiley sends it to Stansberry alone in the corner. They come out, get in his face. He goes along, tried to pass it off on a baseline move. Nobody there. Lead pass down court. Wiley out races everybody, gets back the ball for Delaware State. Here's Miles Carter going in, and he gets tripped. This will be on uh, Gary Grant, I believe. So takedown there. It's a pretty tough one there. That's nice, strong move by uh, Miles Carter. Got three for Gary Grant. Yeah, he got tangled up with Grant there. No, it was 14, right? Four. Nope, it was 11, Gary Grant. Wow. He Inbound was, pass. He wasn't in the play. Zach Kent. Inside, just stepped inside of the three-point line and shot it for two. And that makes it 47-33. Delaware State in front. This is just the kind of start they needed. Yep, and a quick timeout called there. The Good Brothers, proud alumni of Delaware State University and an even prouder sponsor of DSU Athletics. Follow them on Instagram at The Good Brothers LLC. Chef JJ and Chef Gamble are proud to bring you a unique meal each week with a variety of combinations and tastes from the Caribbean. It's a bite you won't regret. Hey, Hornet fans, please remember that our friends at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Dover on Route 10 near Dover Air Force Base are here to help you with your hotel needs at a discounted rate. Call them at 302-674-3800 or go online at the Delaware State University Hornets page to set up a reservation for a clean and comfortable night. Stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and YouTube for day-to-day -day updates on everything MEAC. Also use the hashtag RespectTheMEAC and hashtag MEAC Nation to see your post reposted. For more information, visit MEACSports.com. Get in on the basketball action all season long with sports pick from the Delaware State Lottery. Visit a Delaware Lottery sports retailer or casino sports book today to place your pro and college basketball wagers. Don't miss your chance to make every game a big game with Sports Pick from Delaware Lottery. Visit DELottery.com to find a Sports Pick location near you. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Must be 21 or older. American Spirit Federal Credit Union is a proud supporter of DSU on HSRN. Stop by one of their offices in Dover, Newark, and Middletown. Find out how they can help you save money. Hornets took it down, couldn't do anything with it, or St. Mary's couldn't do anything with it. 
Hornets took it away. Miles Carter took it end to end. Got a short jumper to make it 49-33. This is a great start for the Hornets here. Loose ball off the foot of Lewis. Right to Cameron Rucker to save it for St. Mary's. Gets it back to Lewis. Pass left side on the baseline. It's Alexander. He sends it out to Rucker, who wants three. Hits it off the rim. Comes out Carter for Delaware State. He'll go end to end. Now pass it down in the right corner to Stansberry. Stansberry dribbled. Thought he did it on the line. Looked at it. Then, picked, uh, then continued to dribble. And as they go inside for the shot, Took it all the way to Albert, the rim. Albert Scott got called for his second personal foul. And it'll send Stansberry to the line for the Hornets. Yeah, well, the Hornets are doing a great job here. Just coming out the start of the second half, being extremely aggressive, attacking the rim, and really trying to put this game out of contention early. Stansberry hitting that first shot. Eight points for him. It's been a tough season for John Stansberry. He missed the first nine games of the season. Had a season-high 17 points on February 6th at Morgan State. Had a season-high against Morgan State, 17, right? Mm-hmm. And um, this is only his fifth game thus far. Hits both. And that makes Stansberry 10 of 10 from the line on the season. I didn't want to say it before he shot and jinx him. So Stansberry now. Perfect on the day. 51-33 is the score. Check that. It's 50-33. to 33. I'm going to stay with 51 because that scoreboard's been wrong. St. Mary's missing the shot. Wiley gets the loose ball, brings it down. I think you're safe. Stansberry, left side. Off the rim. Doesn't go. Bennett goes in, gets the loose ball, goes up for the shot, and is fouled. It's a great offensive rebound there by Bennett off of Stansberry's miss. Going to the rim strong. Looked as if he was going to put it down pretty hard and got hit on his arm. Elijah Crawford gets his second personal foul. It's going to send Amir Bennett to the line for Delaware State. Bennett 77% from the foul line. 13 of 17 on the year. Amir Bennett hitting that first shot, the junior yeah. from Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, you would think Bennett would get to the line a lot more. He's only shot with that with that particular attempt, 18 free throws on the season. You know, playing in the low post, you just think he would get, you know, far more attempts. Part of it, though, is, is limited playing time, only 17.8 minutes per game. How, how many minutes? 17.8. That's a lot. <laughs> That was a lot of minutes. Yeah, but but uh, some of the other players up in the 20s and, you know, more playing time. St. Mary's took it down. They missed. Hornets took the rebound. They go inside to Zach Kent. And as he makes the turnaround to go to the basket, Gary Grant wrapped an arm around, and he'll get called for the personal foul. That'll be number four on Mr. Grant. Yeah, they're kind of adding up on him. I think Coach is getting ready to come and get him now. Yeah, he's going to go out, and Albert Scott's climbing back into the game for St. Mary's. Scott, 6'8", 225 pounder. From the corner, he just <laughs> off the rim. Missed. Miles Carter reaching over, getting the rebound. Takes it out, clears it, turn around, jumper. He missed. They'll clear it out to Wiley. And now uh, we've got some uh, contact and some action inside. And who's this going to be yeah, on? It's a I... reset on the shot clock okay. to 18. All right. The whistle and, and the, the hands indicating numbers, and I thought a foul was being called. Fregala working with Wiley on the inbound. They'll take it inside to Bennett off his hands. Couldn't control it. Taken away by Henry for St. Mary's. And they have to stay on the outside. Hornets won't let him in. It's Callaway. Callaway almost lost that one. Passes cross court. It is batted out of bounds by Miles Carter. <laughs> Seahawks will keep the ball here. They have 15 seconds on the shot clock. When we come back, 15.40 left in the game and a media timeout here. It's Delaware State 
52, St. Mary's 33. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Just do it. Nike is the official footwear provider of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Want to give your child something they'll never outgrow? Make a contribution to a DE 529 savings plan today. For more information, visit treasurer.delaware.gov. Taste the uniqueness of our first-generation German bakery in Delhi, the new Bavarian bakery in Delhi in Dover. Authentic, original creations are made fresh from scratch every day. Enjoy one of our great pastries and signature cakes. Don't forget to bring home our house-made breads, Bavarian rye, sourdough, and fresh sandwich rolls. At our deli, choose from 14 different breads. You deserve only the best. The new Bavarian Bakery in Delhi in Dover. Sponsored by the Delaware State Lottery. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Hornet fans, be sure to stop at your local grottos for a great meal and a legendary taste. Grotto Pizza, a proud sponsor of DSU Athletics. Okay, mics are hot. St. Mary's hasn't scored this half. It's almost the first five minutes without a score. Missing that jumper. And it's Amir Bennett grabbing the loose ball for Delaware State, getting it off to Dominic Fergala. He lost the handle, had to stop his dribble. Send it out to Bennett. Now they go right side to Miles Carter. Hornets have picked up uh, 11 points in this half. Bennett underneath. They block him out. Sends it out. Zach Kent, top of the key. He'll drive around traffic. Try to take it down and on a dunk. And as he does, he gets fouled. It's going to be Elijah Crawford who will get called for it. Zach Kent was ready to make a statement there. I tell you, he went... He went to his left there, kind of, normally he drives to his right. That time he kind of did a little sweepy move under, a couple of dribbles and saw some daylight and, and decided to go over the top. Um, St. Mary's player tried to draw the charge. However, was standing inside the arc. Got called for personal. Kent, a good foul shooter. Usually uh, some of these uh, forwards uh, have a little bit of trouble from the line. Kent, 61.5% on the year, making that first one. Yeah, he's a really good shooter. You can tell he has an outstanding touch. Just about attempts for him. He was out here early and working on foul shooting this afternoon. 53-33. Hornets now up by 20 with 15-40, about 14-50 to go. Yeah, St. Mary's hasn't scored a bucket this half. There's a jumper. It'll hit off the rim on shot by Micah Henry. Kent is there for the rebound. Now Miles Carter drives inside. Everything uh, goes over top of everything. There for the follow-up is Amir Bennett. He puts it in and gets fouled in the effort. So no good offensive rebound by Amir Bennett and got it to go for him. So he's going to get an opportunity to go to the free throw line for a three-point play here. Um, it's good to see these young men see the ball go through the basket because, you know, as you see that ball goes through the basket, it gives you more confidence. So let's see if he can make this free throw. Typically when you, you know, when you get a chance to see it go through, the free throws become a lot easier. Ah, Missed that one. He has out. five points on the game. His season high is eight. He did that against Lancaster Bible, uh, a, a conference foe of uh, St. Mary's in the Coast to Coast Conference at Division Three Conference. Cameron Rucker tries to go around traffic. His shot missing, and the loose ball taken out of bounds by Albert Scott to turn it to Delaware State. Looks like John Stansberry about to come in for the Hornets. Fagala looks like. Fagala is going to go out. Nope. No? No. I didn't see who went out. There's Miles only Carter. five out there, so Miles we're Carter. good. <laughs> okay. It was Miles Carter. <laughs> he slipped off the side there. They get it into Bennett. Bennett inside to Kent. Turn around. Shot missed. He was fouled. This, I think, is going to be Albert Scott. Yep. 
It'll be number three for Mr. Scott, the senior. And it'll send uh, Zach Kent back to the line for the Hornets. Kent, a nice addition to Delaware State. The sophomore, a native of uh, nearby Magnolia, Delaware, decided he was going to go off to uh, the University of Tennessee and play there. Spent one year at Tennessee and then transferred back out and came home. So uh, the Hornets with a nice pickup there for the next couple of years, getting Zach Kent back into Delaware. Yeah, Kent makes both free throws. He's what you call a big time stretch, stretch four or stretch five, shooting the ball exceptionally well. 57-33, 24 point lead for the Hornets. And Seahawks with the ball, pass attempt, and, and John Stansberry stuck a foot out and blocked it, and you can't do that. Yeah, well, St. Mary's is having a difficult time because they've gone here literally seven minutes here without a field goal. Micah Henry looking for three from the left side. It missed. Loose ball to Kent. Lead pass down to Fregala through traffic. Underhanded layup missing, and Bennett couldn't control the rebound. It goes out of bounds. Refreshing water that cleanses your body. It's B2L29 Premium Alkaline Water because all water is not the same on the web at B2L29PW.com. Yeah, the Hornets playing a little 1 2 2 full court press here, just trying to keep some pressure on St. Mary's. They're struggling offensively. Scott from the foul line missing. Kent there for the rebound. I tell you, I know the coach from St. Mary's is like, wow, what is the world going on here? Top of the key. Kent off the rim comes out to Alexander. St. Mary's on the fast break, trying to go around for Gala. Three Hornets there to keep him from getting in, and he still got in and got the bucket. Darren Alexander at the 13.08 mark, coming up with the first points of the second half for St. Mary's. Now Zach Kent looking for three from the top of the key, missing. Comes out strong to Micah Henry. He tries to go over Kent, off the rim, and Kent's there for the rebound. Two on one, fast break. Working with Stansberry and Wiley, tried to pass it over to Stansberry. It uh, got knocked out of bounds. Hornets will have the ball with 12.44 left. Amari Pete Green will come in. Ron Lucas will come in. Wiley and Kent will go off for Delaware State. 12.44 to go, 22-point lead. Well, the Hornets are playing very loose right now, so they definitely don't need to lose their focus. Into Amari Pete Green. Drives into the paint, sends it out to Fergala. Down in the corner to Stansberry on the right side. Out to Fergala. Now Bennett left side, top of the key. Carter. Stansberry alone in the corner. Shot. Missed. Got fouled. And Albert Scott committed the foul as he went over to try to block that shot. He made contact with Stansberry. That's four for Albert Scott. I'll tell you, that's the second, uh, I think the second three that um, Stansberry's looked at today. He's feeling very comfortable and looks like he's stroking the ball very well from behind the arc. Um, that one kind of rattled in and, and, and came out. So it could have easily have been an opportunity for a four-point play here. But he goes to the line to shoot for three. Everybody knew what John Stansberry was about. He was a star at Hodgson High School. Hodgson Votek played for the Silver, Silver Eagles. Then went off to Kirkwood Community College in the Iowa Community College Conference. And came back here to Delaware State. Missed those shots. He'll get a third because he was shooting a three. Just a sophomore from Newcastle. Yeah, he has to cash in on these free throws, though. He's missing the first two. That's not good. you got to make these count. They call them free throws, also better known as free points. He makes the third free throw for one. And he is up to 10 points on the game, 58-35. St. Mary's trying to get some more points on the board here. They have just two in this second half. 12-13 left in the game. The underhanded layup won't roll in, just rolled around the rim and came off for St. Mary's. Yeah, All knocked out of bounds with nine seconds left on the shot clock. Seahawks will have it. St. Mary's having a tough time getting a field goal to go for him here. <laughs> I'll tell you what, somebody put a lid on that thing, didn't they? 
Inbound pass, batted away. They had reset the shot clock to 20 seconds. Jumper for three, missing off the back of the rim. Comes out to Amari Pete Green. Now it's for Gala. Over to Ron Lucas. Lucas pass, batted away. Scrapped for the ball on the floor. They'll call the jump ball. And the jump ball tie up there, Ron Lucas. And yep. uh, Lewis, it looks like. Um, ball. St. Mary's, according to the possession error. And a timeout. Media timeout here with 11.49 left to play, and the Hornets up by 23, 58-35, putting the U in H. Catch us on the go. ESPN is proud to be the official national broadcast partner of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. For more information on the ESPN family of networks, including ESPN+, Plus, call your local cable operator or satellite provider or log on to ESPN.com. With three different investment strategies, DE 529 Education Savings Plan makes it easy and achievable to save for your child's college career. Pride your achievements. Jostin is a proud sponsor of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Hey, MEAC fans, take a hot route by getting a car insurance quote at Geico.com. Find out how much you can save. Geico 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. In business, running at peak performance is key, so why not trust the experts at Penske Truck Leasing to keep your trucks running, your business moving, and customers smiling. We're dedicated to providing tailored solutions for all your transportation needs. Go to Penske.com to learn more today. MEAC fans, gear up for the season at Academy Sports and Outdoors. From jerseys and hats to grills and tents, Academy Sports and Outdoors has everything you need for game day. Visit any of the 259 stores across 15 states or shop online at academy.com. Academy Sports and Outdoors. Eight. 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 In basketball. All next Saturday here on HSRN. Almighty Lewis giving it off to Darren Alexander for St. Mary's. Lewis wants three from in front of his bench, and he got it. Lewis knocks down three, finally. His, his second field goal of the um, of the half here. His, uh, Lewis's second field goal of the game, and they're both from outside the arc. Now it's Stansberry over to Fergala. Fergala feeds inside to Lucas, and his pass taken away by St. Mary's. Trying to drive in, Micah Henry runs into two Hornets. Which one will they call for the foul? It's going to be Ron Lucas. That'll be number three for him. Yeah, we just got to make sure we don't get too lax and, and lackadaisical here um, and make sure we finish the game. We're up with a 20-point lead here with 11 and 14 remaining. But, you know, <laughs> I've seen stranger things happen before. Take care of the ball and make sure you take care of your lead here and play the right way. Micah Henry, another freshman here for St. Mary's from Columbia, Maryland, hitting that first foul shot. Coming into the game, 10 of 17. That's 59%. So his mark will go up just a little bit. Let's see what he does with this second one. And he gets both. He has nice form there. He sets it up nicely. Henry with six points in the game. Here's Fergala taking it left side for Delaware State, giving it off to Omari Pete Green. Green drives the lane, right side, missing. Loose ball, still loose, and finally taken by Darren Alexander for St. Mary's. He'll give it off to Crawford, and the ball goes out of bounds off of Micah Henry. Hornets knocked it out of bounds. Elijah Crawford will inbound the pass. You know, when you take the students cheering out of here and all that noise, you can hear exactly how loud Eric Skeeters can get. Oh, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Shot by St. Mary's over top from the side, missing. Elijah Crawford's shot missed. Hornets got it. DeMarco Balkum tries to feed it inside to Ron Lewis, just off the mark and out of bounds. He thought Lucas was going to move a little bit more. Lucas pulled up there at the lane. And he missed it by about a hand. Now Scott gives it off to Crawford for the Seahawks. 
They give it off to Micah Henry. Henry trying to go around for Gallon. Nope, can't do that. And it forces Henry into a bad what shot. What is this? They don't go get the ball? How does that happen? Come Elijah on. Crawford went and got it for St. Mary's. Yeah, the Hornets have got to do a better job of attacking the basketball after missed shots. Everybody's kind of standing around watching. I thought you had it. No, I thought you had it. You got to play the game the right way. You have a lead here, but you got to protect. It's an eight-point lead, 10 minutes, 10-11 remaining, but you got to finish the game. Well, let's see. Amir Bennett, uh, Zach Kent, Pinky Wiley, and Miles Carter are all set to come back in for Delaware State on the next break. Here's Henry, down to five seconds on the shot clock. Tries to pass it off as he got into traffic and lost it. Hornets got it back. Trying to go around the defender, Lewis, was Stansberry. Yes. The ball got dribbled out of bounds, and the Hornets will make that four-man substitution. Yeah, Stansberry with a little bit of shake and bake there and a um, little bit much and end up kind of dribbling it off the uh, St. Mary Lewis's leg there going out of bounds. Coach Skeeter's seen enough, so he brings in a whole new five. Yeah, he's got Wiley and Carter and Kent. The only one who stayed in there was Amari Pete Green. Ball knocked out of bounds by St. Mary's. Hornets will keep it. They have 19 seconds on the shot clock and an 18-point lead here with 9.42 still to play. Wiley looking. Long pass into Amari Mark Pete Green, Green, top of the key, once three, hits off the back of the rim, comes out high. Loose ball grabbed by Albert Scott. St. Mary's. Darren Alexander now, right side jumper, well off the mark. Kent gets the rebound, sends it off to Amari Pete Green. He'll go right side to Pinky Wiley. Wiley sets up the play, gets it off to Amir Bennett on the left side. Now Miles Carter out to Zach Kent. Works the right side to Green. Back to Kent, inside. Works to the right side of the paint. Spin move into the lane and nicely done. That's a very nice move there by Kent, you know, kind of catching it with his back to the basket, facing up and um, fading toward the middle with a nice little mid-range J. 60 to 40. Pinky Wiley breaking up Lewis's uh, attempt to come down cleanly. Had to go back and retrieve the ball. Alexander now with it. You give it to Mecca Henry. Henry top of the key. Fades to the left side just a little bit. Backs up. Tried to get around Miles Carter. Can't do that. Passes it down on the right side. Lewis wants three. Lewis. From the side and put it over top of everything to Green. Yeah, a little strong. Didn't touch anything. Green goes left side to Wiley. Wiley top of the key now to Bennett. Over on the right side to Carter. Carter out to Kent. Kent sees Bennett underneath, but the pass just a little bit off the mark. When he went to get it, he put his foot on the yeah, baseline. Deep. Yeah, a little deep and, and ended up stepping out of bounds. Um, but you got to, you know, feel good. The Hornets is doing a nice job offensively, moving the ball from left to right, being patient and just trying to pick their spots and points and players that they want to get the ball to. So that's a good sign because they're continuing to play the right way so they don't, you know, waste away this lead. Clock is showing eight minutes, five seconds still to play. Lewis trying to work past Wiley all day. Hasn't worked too well. Gives it to Scott. Scott feeds it off to Henry. Henry tries to go inside. Almost lost it. Now they get it to Grant. Grant off the glass and in. He's missed most of the second half because he picked up four early fouls. It's a nice little drive with a reverse scoop there by Grant in traffic. 60 to 42, back to the 18 point lead. They'll get it into Bennett off his hands and out of bounds. That's a nice pass there by Kent. It was. And Tried to uh, back door it to Bennett and he couldn't control it. Bennett took his eyes off of it. He, I think he was thinking about the dunk. Got a break here. 732 left to play. Media timeout. Hornets leading 60 to 42, putting the U in HBCU. We are HSRN. The Good Brothers, proud alumni of Delaware State University and an even prouder sponsor of DSU Athletics. Follow them on Instagram at The Good Brothers LLC. Chef JJ and Chef Gamble are proud to bring you a unique meal each week with a variety of combinations and tastes from the Caribbean. It's a bite you won't regret. 
Hey, Hornet fans, please remember that our friends at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Dover on Route 10 near Dover Air Force Base are here to help you with your hotel needs at a discounted rate. Call them at 302-674-3800 or go online at the Delaware State University Hornets page to set up a reservation for a clean and comfortable night. Stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and YouTube for day-to-day updates on everything MEAC. Also use the hashtag RespectTheMEAC and hashtag MEACNation to see your post reposted. For more information, visit MEACSports.com. Get in on the basketball action all season long with sports pick from the Delaware State Lottery. Visit a Delaware Lottery sports retailer or casino sports book today to place your pro and college basketball wagers. Don't miss your chance to make every game a big game with Sports Pick from Delaware Lottery. Visit DELottery.com to find a Sports Pick location near you. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Must be 21. That was just a one-point win. They had trouble with that one late in the game. They don't want to let that happen in this one. Yeah, they've looked far more impressive today, so that's a good sign. With an 18-point lead here. St. Mary's trying to get them spells back in and driving in. Gary Grant going for the shot. And they just closed the door on him. Three white jerseys around him. Hornets in the white uniforms today. Yeah, another thing we need to bring forth to the telecast today, the National Basketball Coaches Association is honoring um, Coach John Thompson today with the um, NABC towels that you see coaches around the country will be wearing throughout today. Grant misses his first free throw, but if you see Coach Skeeter in the live stream today, yep. he's wearing a towel there on his left shoulder. It says NABC, which is the um, acronym for National Basketball Coaches Association. Um, John Thompson was a historic and iconic figure um, in the game. Kind of changed things back there in the 1980s with Georgetown and what he was able to do with the Hoyas. Oh. Amari Pete Green, baseline. Got a charge there on Mari Pete Green. He yep. Saw daylight. He went for it. Pretty easy call, but nonetheless, you got to applaud his aggressiveness. So he's trying to make a play. And a good defender there setting up and taking the charge from the big guy. Yeah, it's good to see the Coaches Association, National Coaches Association, give um, homage you know, to, um, to um, Coach John Thompson. Had another great iconic coach that passed away here recently, too, and that's John Chaney. Yeah. Two of the great ones from back in that era. They went up against each other a few times, too. We have a foul here called on Delaware State. Miles Carter gets his second. As St. Mary's just has not been able to play an inside game here today against Delaware State. Hornets have just trapped them outside all day. Well, they've just had a difficult time scoring here in the first half. And um, in the second half, made all the difference. Gary Grant trying to work inside. He does off the glass, and it's good. They missed him here in the second half when he got in foul trouble. 60 to 44, Zach Kent. That's a nice pass there by, um, by Pinky Wildland and Kent doing a phenomenal job running the floor as a big guy. 17 points for Zach Kent here today. Now, Lewis hands it off to Callaway. They work it all the way to the right side to Grant. They go inside now to Scott. Scott tries to back in against Bennett. Bennett deflects the pass. It goes out of bounds. It will be Seahawks ball. It's good defense by Amir Bennett in the post there. You know, not making it everything very, very tough. Not giving up anything easy down there in the low post. Zach Kent with 17 points today. His previous season high was 15. There's a block by Miles Carter on the shot attempt by Micah Henry. Carter takes it down. His shot misses. He gets fouled. Henry, trying to recover, commits to his first foul of the game. But Zach Kent with 17 here today. His previous season high, 15, back on December 23rd against UNC Wilmington. And he did it again January 16th against Norfolk State. Now Miles Carter will go to the foul line for the Hornets. Yeah, he has a very special, you know, level of athleticism that you rarely see. Um, and, and not to mention, Miles Carter was a walk-on young man who wasn't recruited. Basically just came to Delaware State and made the team. 
And the... he made both shots there. 64-44, back to a 20-point lead. And now a steal by Pinky Wiley. Gets it off to Carter on the left side. Wiley was alone, so he didn't take it in and try to do something spectacular with it. He held up, passed it off to his teammates so they could set up the offense. Sends it inside on the right side to Kent along the baseline. A jumper bounces around the rim and goes in. Kent is feeling well today, man. This is one of the most impressive performances he's had, you know, since being a Hornet. So it's good to see building confidence and getting him the ball in spots that he loves to have it. 66 to 44. It's Grant now. Right side, passes it off to Callaway. His shot bounces off the rim, taken by Stansberry for Delaware State. We're down to five minutes, 17 seconds left in the game. Now Zach Kent will give it off to Wiley. Wiley, top of the key, fakes the shot, passes it to Bennett. Kent was in the lane, passed it back out to Wiley, and the shot missed, came out high. Miles Carter on the rebound, he gets fouled. And that that will be, be Gary Grant, and he's going to go sit down for the rest of the game. Yeah, that might be it for Grant. Comes with 5.04 left in the game. That's the 10th team foul here in this second half. We're talking about Miles Carter, a walk-on senior from Philadelphia. He's, this is his 13th game of the season. He started nine of the previous 12. Yeah, well, he really he really came on last year. We saw it as the season went along. Well, he's just been a pleasant surprise, man. Rarely do you find a young man who basically is a walk-on. You know, he wasn't recruited, just had a love for Delaware State University. He makes the first free throw, but he comes and he and he really works his tail off to to give himself a chance to play. And got um, both foul shots to make it a 24-point lead, 68-44. Philadelphia guy. Leading. Have a soft spot in his heart for Dover, Delaware. In the backcourt, Hornets really giving trouble to Micah Henry. Yeah, they trying to finish him off. You can't blame him. You know, you're looking at a 24-point 24 24 point lead, and they're really, really trying to keep their foot um, <laughs> keep their foot right on them so that they don't have any chance to even think about coming back in this contest. John Stansbury committed the foul in the backcourt, made contact. That'll be his third. So an inbound pass by Alexander. Working with Crawford, they send it on down now to Micah Henry. Henry, right side, drives inside, tries to go past Zach Kent. Doesn't do it. They're going to say the ball went off of Kent and out of bounds. Seahawks will keep the ball with 19 seconds on the shot clock and 4.48 left in the game. Comes in to Crawford. Crawford looking for some help, gets it off to Callaway. Callaway back out to Crawford. Crawford tries to move inside, uh-uh. Rucker now takes the shot from the top of the key, rolls it around the rim, comes out to Kent. He gets it off to Wiley. Wiley will take it down. Over to Carter, right side. Wiley now feeds it inside to Bennett. Bennett gets fouled as he takes the shot. I'll tell you, I've been really impressed today that the Hornets have been very deliberate about throwing the ball inside to Bennett and throwing it inside to Kent. And this is probably one of the first games that I've seen that we've called where they've been really intentional about getting the ball into the post. So, you know, that could be, you know, um, something positive to look forward to as we progress in the latter stages of the season here. Uh, Bennett misses the first free throw. Uh, but, um, but the focus has been to give these um, post players um, more touches, and they've been able to get more touches today. Um, they have to prove that they deserve the right to get the ball, though, and you have to convert, and you also have to make sure you make your free throws. St. Mary's calls a timeout here with 4.23 left to go, our final media timeout of the game. Hornets 68, St. Mary's 44, putting you in HBCU, we're HSRN. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Just do it. Nike is the official footwear provider of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Want to give your child something they'll never outgrow? Make a contribution to a DE 529 savings plan today. For more information, visit treasurer.delaware.gov.
www.bavarianbakery.gov. Taste the uniqueness of our first-generation German bakery in Delhi, the new Bavarian bakery in Delhi in Dover. Authentic, original creations are made fresh from scratch every day. Enjoy one of our great pastries and signature cakes. Don't forget to bring home our house-made breads, Bavarian rye, sourdough, and fresh sandwich rolls. At our deli, choose from 14 different breads. You deserve only the best. The new Bavarian bakery in Delhi in Dover. Here with Amir Bennett for Delaware State. As uh, the junior from Richmond hits the first shot, hits the shot off the front of the rim. And the rebound by St. Mary's. Alexander now passes it to Crawford. Crawford drives inside off the glass and over top of Bennett. And that's a great move by Crawford. 68-46. From down on the left corner looking for three. It's Carter. His shot missed, came all the way out. Delaware State circles it around. Frick Gallo from the right corner for three. His first bucket of the game. Yeah, for Gala for three. That's good to see him make a three. 71-46. Hornets up by 25. Now from the right corner for three. It's Callaway. His shot missing. For Gala's there for the loose ball. He'll bring it down. Pull up top of the key. Shoot. Miss. Follow up. Got his own rebound. Sends it back out to Kent. Now to Wiley. Wiley inside to Bennett. Bennett pushes his way in. Puts it up. Gets fouled. It's going to be on number two, Elijah Crawford. That'll be number four for him. Yeah, they're giving up. St. Mary's giving up a lot of size down there. And um, pretty much they're at the Hornets' mercy whenever the Hornets throw the ball down to Amir Bennett or, or Kent, um, which is giving up probably anywhere between four to five inches on every player. <laughs> All right, so we got a timeout here. Be Amir sure to stop at your local grottos for a great meal and a legendary taste. Grotto Pizza, a proud sponsor of DSU Athletics. Sponsored by the Delaware State Lottery. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Catch us on the go. ESPN is proud to be the official national broadcast partner of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. For more information on the ESPN family of networks, including ESPN+, Plus, call your local cable operator or satellite provider or log on to ESPN.com. With three different investment strategies, DE 529 Education Savings Plan makes it easy and achievable to save for your child's college career. Pride your achievements. Jostin is a proud sponsor of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Hey, MEAC fans, take a hot route by getting a car insurance quote at Geico.com. Find out how much you can save. Geico 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. got a pretty young team a lot of freshmen coming in for the fall they're going to get some game experience like a a real up-tempo spring practice session with with not scrimmages but games that are real games makes sense i mean you can't replace game time you know and sometimes yeah. you never know who the players are some people are good practice players and others are phenomenal um game players um amir bennett makes the first free throw uh, um, but like I said, there's no replacement for game time, you know, game time experience. And you want to be able to identify those who, you know, who can stand out in game situations so that you can kind of build upon your, your plan. Bennett. Uh, Amir, Bennett makes, Amir Bennett makes the second free throw as well. 73-46. That's a 27-point lead for Delaware State now. Micah Henry brings it down quickly, tries to pass it across the baseline, missed the mark, it goes out of bounds. Oh, we have a foul. Miles Carter called for it. That's his third. 3.20 left in the game. And for the Hornets, that's just the sixth team foul in the second half. Well, the Hornets have really been working on their press here the last, since about the four-minute mark, really putting a lot of pressure on. I think, you know, right now being up, what is it, 27? Yeah. I've been up 27 points and you're still pressing. I think they're just trying to work on it and, and moving forward in the season, hopefully to be able to use it again in these lateral games that they have left. Put some of this into play here for these uh, last four conference games that they have on tap. 
and maybe more before uh, it's, it's all over with as they'll look to reschedule the two games that should have been played here against Morgan State this weekend. Exactly. Well, just got to make sure we play with the same level of intensity and, um, and, and intentions, you know, as we move forward with MEAC play. Inbounded by St. Mary's. There's a jumper, short one, and it's good by Darian Callaway. His first basket of the game, by the way, 73-48. Hornets lead by 25. They've been it for three. Off the rim, won't go. Comes out for Gala. He'll send it out to Wiley in for the Gala. He tried to pass it into Bennett. Wiley said, okay, if nobody wants to hold on to this ball, I'm going to take it in. His layup off the rim wouldn't go. Now Alexander moves in, takes the jumper. He gets it, and he'll go to the line. This kid, he's a very nice-looking player, Alexander. You know, he because he's a really good scorer, can shoot the three. Um, kind of can score on all three levels. You know, he can get to the basket, shoot the mid-range, and shoots the three really well. And is not intimidated to no extent. So, I, you know, as St. Mary's moves forward, you know, they got to be excited about this young man. I'm sorry, he's a sophomore. Yep. Uh, from Twinsbrook, Maryland. Um, but uh, definitely a you know, very nice-looking player with a tremendous amount of promise. Put up 23 points against Lancaster Bible College back on 23rd, 29th of January. It hits it off the front of the rim. Won't go, and St. Mary's keeps it from going out of bounds. They tossed it in. They got the ball back. They hustled. Micah Henry. You'd like to have gotten that rebound as the Hornets. Henry now moves inside. Hornets double up on him. He's in trouble. He needs some help. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Gets it off to Rucker. Rucker sends it down in the right corner. It's Crawford moving in, taking the jumper. It misses. Alexander got the loose ball. Yeah, the kid has a good feel for the game. You know. Callaway, jumper from the corner for three. Yeah, that St. Mary's, you know, they play really well, man, but they just had, they got off to the second second half and just couldn't find the mark for about seven minutes, without, went about seven minutes without scoring. Now that pass off of Zach Kent, taken away by St. Mary's, trying to cut the deficit, and they do. They cut it down to 17 now. Darren Alexander hitting the three, giving him 16 points, 73, 56, Delaware State. Still holding on to the lead now with a minute and 49 left to play. Hornets calling a timeout here. Coach Eric Skeeter is not happy with what he has been seeing. The so Good Brothers, proud alumni of Delaware State University and an even prouder sponsor of DSU Athletics. Follow them on Instagram at The Good Brothers LLC. Chef JJ and Chef Gamble are proud to bring you a unique meal each week with a variety of combinations and tastes from the Caribbean. It's a bite you won't regret. Hey, Hornet fans, please remember that our friends at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Dover on Route 10 near Dover Air Force Base are here to help you with your hotel needs at a discounted rate. Call them at 302-674-3800 or go online at the Delaware State University Hornets page to set up a reservation for a clean and comfortable night. Stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and YouTube for day-to-day -day updates on everything MEAC. Also use the hashtag RespectTheMEAC and hashtag MEAC Nation to see your post reposted. For more information, visit MEACSports.com. Ball as we come back to action here. They called the timeout to set up for these last couple of minutes. Coach Eric Skeeter is getting the team in there that he wants, getting some players some time here that haven't been in the game either. Hornets missing the shot. Rebounded. Alexander tries to take it in. Loose ball knocked out of bounds. Who touched it last? It was Christopher Smith for Delaware State. He's into the game for the first time, as is Chris Sodom. St. Mary's, Lewis, top of the key, looking, trying for some, looking for some help. They give it off to Callaway, who shoots for three, misses. Omari Peak Green is there for the rebound. A minute and 15 to play. Tries to take it all the way, passes it off at the last moment to Christopher Smith, 
who gets the layup, 75-56. It's a nice little dump off there by Amari Pete Green. Thought he was going to go for the shot the whole way, and at the last moment, he saw that he was blocked off, decided to give it up. One minute to play. Now it's Taylor Eisentrout for St. Mary's to Callaway as both coaches trying to get players into the game who haven't played yet. Pass over to Lewis, right side, missing. Callaway trying to keep the ball, losing it. It'll be Hornets' ball. No, it'll be Seahawks' ball. 44.7 seconds still to go. And the Hornets up by 19. Lewis trying to inbound, does so to Callaway. Callaway driving through traffic over top of the big guy, <laughs> Chris Sodom. You can put it over him, but it doesn't mean it's going to be a good shot then. Yeah, and that's what happened. Very long fellow. you got to definitely get it up. Seven-footer. Tallest player ever on a Delaware State roster. For Gallup, over to Christopher Smith. He drives through the paint. Looks like he got whacked a little bit there as he went in. Shot missed. Callaway on the rebound. 15 seconds to go. It's Alexander on a shot for three. It misses. Tried to get his own rebound. It's cleared out by Callaway, shooting from the left corner for three. 78, 75, 59. And the Hornets will just let this one run out here and come away with their second win of the season, albeit against three, uh, by, against two division three foes from the Coast to Coast Conference. So they have now four games left showing on the schedule right now, and they are all against MEAC opponents. It's really important that the Hornets go out and take at least one of those final four games in conference. Yeah, for sure. Definitely one of them, but you like to try to get as many as possible because, you know, when you go back and just kind of reflect upon your season, you know, if you if you haven't, you know, really had a, 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 a any level of tremendous success against um, the foes that you play against on you play against on a regular basis, Division One opponents, then it kind of makes you really kind of think or look at what you're doing to see whether or not you should rethink everything that you have going on. Um, I feel like that the Hornets have played some really good basketball in spurts this year, uh, but there's just been sometimes they've had problems with continuity, being able to just build upon and play long minutes, long stretches without, um, you know, long stretches without having, you know, um, lags where they let, you know, good runs of good play get away from them by actually, you know, not – and it could be substitutions sometimes. Sometimes they'll be playing well and they make substitutions and that next group don't come in and give you the same continuity that the first group gave you. But whatever it is, that's, that's the coach's job. you got to figure out, you know, who to play, when to play, how much to play them, but you want to build upon where you are. Zach Kent finishes the game for Delaware State with 19 points, his best game of the season, scoring-wise. Pinky Wiley contributing heavily also with 16, and I think he had maybe five three-pointers, well, four, at least four three-pointers out of that total. 